Hey guys, Manuel Sanchez here. Now more than ever, clients have been mentioning to me that they want to wait out the pandemic to purchase either a short sale or a foreclosure. But before going down that road, here are a few things that you should know first. Let's start with the primary difference between a short sale and a foreclosure. The primary difference between one and the other is in who is selling you the property. With a short sale, the bank allows a homeowner to sell the home for less than what he owes, meaning he is selling it short. A foreclosure is when the bank seizes the property from the owner and attempts to sell it to recover what is owed. But when a bank is unable to sell the property during a foreclosure auction, it becomes an REO or a real estate owned property. Prices for REOs can be better than a short sale, but there's also a catch that comes with it, which I'll be talking about later in the video. When it comes to short sales, many buyers gravitate towards them for two reasons. One, one, because the list price is attractive, and two, because they think the seller is desperate, neither of which may be true. In many cases, sellers set unrealistic listing prices, and also not all of them are desperate to sell. Buyers need to understand that buying a short sale or a foreclosure is not for everyone. It doesn't automatically mean you get a deal. Short sales may take months and months of banks approving and accepting all required documentation, and trust me, it's a lot of documents that need to be submitted. Imagine being in contract for six months only for the bank to end up denying the short sale. If time is of the essence, then a short sale may not be for you. Even though you can get a loan for short sales and standard contracts are used, most short sales fail because either the bank does not approve it or because there's a lien on the property. If there's any type of lien on the property, not only does the bank need to approve the short sale, but so does every single lien holder. It only takes one of them to deny it and the sale falls through. These banks and lien approvals are basically like another contingency. Side note, when buying a short sale, it needs to be at an arm's length transaction, meaning the buyer cannot be related to the seller. Now, when it comes to buying REOs, the deals typically happen really fast. Banks are not in the business of property management, so the quicker they can close the deal, the better. But like I said earlier, there's a catch. REO properties favor cash buyers, so if you are looking for a foreclosure, you better be ready to have quite some cash sitting in the bank to pay in full. Not only that, but banks are not required to give you any type of disclosures on the property. And in most cases, you even waive the right for disclosures. So if you think you're getting a deal because you purchased a property for 500,000 that last year was valued for 600,000 only to find out it needs $150,000 worth of repairs, then you should think again. Both buyers and their agents must understand the process. For a short sale, it can be very difficult to get closing costs, cash back, or even repairs. For REOs, I can almost guarantee you won't get anything since properties are sold as is, meaning what you see is what you get. No repairs are made by the bank. If all of this sounds good to you and you are looking to purchase a short sale or a foreclosure, however, make sure to work with an agent that understands the process and paperwork needed to actually execute the deal. An agent who knows the language and can take you to the finish line. After obtaining my short sale and foreclosure designation certificate, I can assure you that who you work with matters. At the end of the day, you can always get a deal and it doesn't have to be a short sale or a foreclosure. You don't need to time the market. Remember, don't let the market dictate you buying a home. Deals are out there and ready to be made. So if you are looking to purchase, I'm always here to help. I'm always here to watch your back. Use my experience and knowledge to not only find the home of your dreams, but actually close on it. If this video has added any value, make sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And until then, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.